Gothic 3 is a fantasy-themed role-playing video game for Windows PC from the German game developer Piranha Bytes. It is the sequel to Gothic 2. Although widely available in English, the native release of the game is German. The game was released throughout the European Union on October 13, 2006 and became available throughout North America starting November 20, 2006. The North American release incorporates two patches that appeared after the initial UK edition. A collector's edition was also released containing bonus collectible material. Joe Woody released a standalone expansion, entitled Gothic 3, Forsaken Gods, on November 21, 2008. Gameplay, the player must complete quests and slay wild animals and monsters to earn experience and improve skills. The game is reputation-centric allowing the player to side with a faction. While there are six factions in the game, only three are joinable, the Rebels, the Orc Mercenaries and the Hashizhin. The remaining factions are the Rangers, the Nomads and the people of Nordma. The player is able to take advantage of missions to allow either side to take over towns. Dialogue changes according to in-game actions and behavior. The game places a special focus on the interactivity of the environment. The game claimed to employ an unusual combat system which emphasizes carefully timed combinations of strikes, requiring the player to read the body language of attacking opponents. However, in practice, many players found the combat system lacking such unique features and have been known to describe it as a button-mashing click fest. The most successful strategy during combat seemed to be to just click the left mouse button as quickly as possible, if timed correctly at the beginning any enemy could be defeated with relative ease. The controls have been altered slightly with a stronger focus on action. Navigation and combat are more mouse-centric, with each mouse button having a different combat action. The nameless hero can also now wield dual weapons or use a shield. Synopsis equals prologue equals the first part of Gothic tells the story of the nameless hero, a man thrust into the events of a penal colony. The colony takes the form of a natural landscape encased in a large magical shield known as the barrier, much like an impenetrable dome. Over the course of the story, the nameless hero becomes acquainted with several characters, the most notable of which are Diego, Lee, Coranga, Lester, Gorn, Lares, Milton, and Xordus. Some of these characters are connected with the various factions of the game, which include the Old Camp, the New Camp and the Swamp Camp. Also connected with these factions are the Water and Fire Mages, of which Xordus is an outcast. Xordus, a necromancer, plays a central part to the survival and advancement of the character. Ultimately, he galvanizes the character toward the ultimate goal of stopping the summoning of a beast known as the Sleeper but the entrance was guarded by a camp of orcs. The hero was helped by an orc shaman named Ershark, who made an artifact that would prevent the orcs from attacking him. The nameless hero banishes the sleeper at the cost of nearly losing his own life. The second part of Gothic sees the nameless hero resurrected by Xordus into a new setting. Now located outside the city of Konies, he is asked by Xordus to investigate a new evil that threatens Konies and the surrounding lands. Over the course of the story, the nameless hero reconnects with old friends from the first chapter while adjusting to changes in the faction structure. With the penal colony and its barrier a thing of the past, the surrounding lands have been invaded by orcs. Factions now consist of the militia paladins of Konies, the fire novices fire mages, and the mercenaries dragon hunters. Water mages also make a return. Having discovered the source of the evil threatening conies, our hero assembles a crew of trusted friends and sails to a nearby island. There he battles a large undead dragon, completing the central quest of the chapter. The chapter closes with the hero and his allies sailing away from the island. Gothic 2 also has an expansion called Night of the Raven. In the expansion, the hero faced many new dangers and a new unexplored world. The Water Mages played an important role in the expansion. There was a new faction known as the Ring of Water, who had the same relationship to the Water Mages as the Paladins do to the Fire Mages. The main antagonist was Raven, who was second in command to Gomez, leader of the Old Camp, in the first game. Raven wanted to command the armies of Belia, 
the evil one of the three gods, along with a new powerful weapon known as the Claw of Belia. Equals plot equals, the third part opens with the nameless hero and his friends sailing to a new continent overrun with orcs, arriving in the Mitanna, the central region of the continent. The hero lost all his stuff from the previous game when his ship is stolen while he's on shore with Milton, Diego, Gorn, and Lester. Presumably this is the source of the orc invasion that was launched on Konis during the second chapter. These lands have no physical connection to Konis or the ruins of the penal colony. In these mountainous forests the orcs have enslaved the human kingdom with only a few free humans living in the nearly uninhabitable icy northlands of Nordmer and the southern desert of Berent. The hero must decide whether to join the rebellion and stay true to the deposed human king, serve the orcish usurpers in their quest to topple the last remaining human stronghold, or choose a path that serves his own ends. Throughout the story, he is accompanied by a number of NPCs, some of whom are old friends. While this chapter brings forward friends from the previous title it also introduces two new major characters. King Robar II and Zuban. While the king has a strong past as a bold leader, he now faces a near defeat. His fame on the decline. Zuban leads the Hashizhin that inhabit the southern region of Berent. History equals development equals, Gothic 3 was initially developed by Piranha Bytes, like the previous two titles. Equals game engine equals, Gothic 3 is powered by a custom engine called Genome. It supports Pixel Shader 3.0, has a multi-threaded design and includes dynamic lighting. Character animation uses emotion FX2 and physics simulation is provided by Agias Phys X physics engine. It also uses IDV's Speed Tree T Tree and Plant Software, Bing Video Technology from Rad Game Tools for the Cusins, as well as the FMOD sound system from Firelight Technologies for sound playback. The game was designed for a minimum system requirement of a 2.0 GHz Intel Pentium 4 with 768 MB system RAM. Recommended video cards include an ATIX 1600. NVIDIA G46800 series or better if possible. Equals release equals, the game was released on October 13, 2006 throughout the European Union in English, German, Spanish and Polish. The North American version was released on November 20, 2006. The English edition from the UK was released as version 1.04. The North American version incorporated two patches, the first being 1.07, in its initial release at version 1.12. A collector's edition was also released containing bonus collectible material. In the UK, the PEGI rating board has assigned the game a 16 plus rating. In Germany, the USK is rated at 12 plus. In the US and Canada, Gothic 3 is rated T by the ESRB. The Gummy Play content is identical between each version released worldwide. Equals patches equals, after a release with many problems and bugs, a dispute between the publisher and developer lead to the separation of them in 2007. The game remained with the last released patch 1.12 in a buggy and unfinished state, and an announced further patch and editor were not finished. Equals community support equals, therefore, the copyright holding publisher Jawood granted access to the source code to developers from the game community to allow the fans at least take care of the significant problems and bugs themselves. In years of voluntary and unpaid work the fan community produced several community patches, with an actual iteration version 1.75 released on April 2012. With this 1.5 GB sized patch significant enhancements and fixes were introduced so that finally a playable state of the game was achieved. Also, a community story project still works on fixing inconsistencies in former Gothic games and on filling story gaps. In 2014 an additional patch and a data optimizer for the 1.75.14 version became available fixing some of the remaining issues. Equals expansion equals on November 21, 2008 Joe Wu D Entertainment released a standalone expansion entitled Gothic 3, Forsaken Gods, developed by Trying Games. Gothic 3, Forsaken Gods was similar buggy as the original game and was later fixed in an enhanced edition by Mad Vulture Games, 
a company which was created by developers from the game community. Reception, Gothic 3 has been met with mixed or average reviews. It has received 63-100 score on Metacritic website and 63.94% on game rankings. Prior to its release in early October 2006, Gothic 3 was nominated as the best game of E3 by IGN. Since the release, most concerns have centered on bugs. Hyper's Daniel Wilkes commends the game for its ton of quests, rewards exploration and approachable combat. However, he criticized it for system hogging, feeling unfinished and atrocious voice acting. See also, Gothic 3, The Beginning. References External links, the official Gothic 3 website at Piranha Bytes, World of Gothic, official Gothic fan site.